Well, good morning, everybody. It is an absolutely beautiful Saturday morning here in the Carolinas. That means it's time to go fly the seaplane. Let's go for a ride. And here we are. Thirty gallons, perfect. Just what we needed. All right, check the water runners. Lake Norman traffic, seaplane 935, the taxi interrupt, Lake 32, Lake Norman. I just 
just really did not want to have a uh, a, 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 a fabric airplane on site. Two zero zero Alpha Delta is about three miles to the west. We got our left down went three two. Left on. I really wanted to make sure I had a um, an airplane that could sit outside. And so looking for an all metal amphibious airplane. Oh yeah, and a budget <laughs> that I could afford uh, meant uh, that I was kind of looking around. And I got to admit, I love, absolutely love the look of uh, regular flying boats or flying hull planes. And the uh, the Buccaneer just really fit that bill real well. I think I found a first really good spot to go and land in today. The gear is up, flaps are down, area is clear, water rudders are up, GFAR. Let's go ahead and bring her down here and do our first water landing of the day. Uh, 65 to 75, actually 70, 70, 75 miles an hour for our approach speed here. Looking for 70, again checking the area. Making sure there's no power lines or anything like that. 70 miles an hour. Got my reference. Winds are basically calm today, so I don't have to worry about a lot there. Power lines are over there, which is not a factor. I'm using this little island as my final uh, descent reference point. Even though we don't have glassy water, it's still kind of the technique. Power's about set. And we'll come in and we'll do our first land today. And there's our first land. That wasn't the softest one I've ever done, but that's kind of fun. We'll come out to a we'll come into displacement. Nice takeoff there, nice and easy. Gotta love that. But anyway, I decided that um, a flying boat would really be a plane that I could afford and one that I want to look at. But I gotta tell you, the Buccaneer is not necessarily the right airplane for everybody. And so, uh, I figured this would also be a good time to talk about five, uh, five reasons I bought the, the Buccaneer and five reasons why you might want to think twice before uh, buying one yourself. On the buy side, obviously these are very unique looking airplanes. They are, uh, I can't tell you how many times I've flown to a, uh, uh, into an airport or into a flying or whatever, and people just ask the question, what, what exactly is that? What am I looking at here? And I love that unique look. And so that to me is, uh, is amazing. Let's come, we're gonna land right over here again. All right, gear is up, flaps are down, area's clear, water rudders are set. Drop is forward, mixture's full. Get more waves over here, but that's all right. All right, just hold it off, hold it off. There we go. And we're going to speed boat this time, so I'm going to keep the power up a little bit. Oh, 
about 35 to 40 knots across the water here, 40, 43 knots. That's we're just doing right along.
a fair amount of power. Especially add just a little bit of water rudder or a little bit of power to it. <clears throat> We're coming up on our wake. I'm gonna go ahead and drop the water rudders for a minute here. And I'm down, I might as well pop the door open. <laughs> I love that feeling. There's nothing better than reaching down, drawing your hand to the lake and splashing around to the water. Try that in a float plane. I think I'm going to wrap it up here. Well, thanks for riding along, and until next time, thanks for being my wingman.